Okay, I just want to chime in on Dwayne Dawkins. I believe he's a pastor that was caught with the same sex. And there's an alleged video that's out there that a lot of people on YouTube seem to be talking about. But I'm going to try not to be on this topic too long. The Bible warns us of the wolf in sheep clothing and how outwardly they are like whitewashed tombs, but inside they're full of dead men's bones. Now, there are people that saying, and that's under the belief, and I'm sure, I'm sure they really don't believe this, but they seem to feel that any man that preaches against the LGBTQ community, the Rainbow Crew, they seem to feel that any man that preach against it or that's against that lifestyle is themselves a down low homosexual. That is far from the truth. That is no more than a lie from the very pits of hell. Just because someone disagrees with that lifestyle, just because someone disagrees with that abomination does not mean that they themselves are gay. Now, I do agree that there are down low people that preach against it. There are guys that marry women that are with women to try to cover up their desire for the same sex. There are those people that exist that's like that, but not everyone that preach against it is for it. Another thing you have to consider when it comes to spiritual warfare, spiritual warfare is exactly what it is, it's warfare. And that's why the Bible tells us to put on the whole armor of God that we might be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. It's not saying that we would definitely stand. It says that we might be able to stand against the wiles of the devil because once you choose to grab a hold of that gospel plow and you preach righteousness, you're going to be attacked from every direction spiritually. And in most cases, it's manifested in the physical. So you may be a person that preaches against abominations, but then what happens is you have these spirits. In the spirit realm, you will be attacked. And if you're not careful, and if you don't um, put on the whole armor of God that you might be able to stand against the wiles of the devil, those fiery darts of the wicked will hit you. And before you realize it, you are now caught up in a scandal. It could be a scandal with a woman. It could be a scandal with a child. It could be a scandal with the same sex. And although people are always defending the LGBTQ community, saying that there's nothing wrong with it, saying that these people are born that way, saying that these people should not be bashed. When you have situations like this Dwayne Dawkins, then it's going to hit the news simply because of the fact that he is a preacher and he preached against it. That's fair. That's all a part of warfare. Okay, so we can expect things like that. I read a book before, The Divine Revelation of Hell. It's a very thin book, and you could probably find it on Amazon or somewhere on the internet. You can just download it for free. But in this book, it gives an account of where this woman that was that was that was rece that received this revelation of hell and she was journeying hell and in hell she saw um this man in a casket with a suit on and he was being tormented 24/7 and 
You had demons that were taking shifts on tormenting this individual. Pay close attention. They were tormenting this person. So this woman had asked, who is this person that's in this casket with this suit on that's being tormented where demons are taking shifts and tormenting him? Come to find out this was a preacher that preached against the satanic kingdom. But he fell into a situation, if I'm not, if I can remember quickly uh, uh, or correctly, I think it was a situation where uh, he ended up cheating on his wife. He stole money in the church and the typical things we hear about, or he might have even killed his wife, something to that effect. So whatever he chose to do in his life, it sent him to hell. And because of the fact that he was a part of that spiritual warfare, and he preached against that satanic kingdom, in hell, he was tormented the most. Just because of the fact of who he was, just because he was a preacher and that was preaching righteousness and preached against the satanic kingdom, in hell, he was tormented even more, right? That's warfare. So we can expect to have casualties in warfare. Now, what this man did was wrong. And I'm this is a YouTuber. His, lab, his last name is Dawson. And much of his content is about preachers or people in the church that either got caught up in sexual sins, either with child or same sex. And he preaches on that. Okay, cool. You know, it's a part of warfare. But when you choose to grab a hold of that gospel plow and you, you choose to go against the kingdom of this world, the satanic kingdom of this world, expect these, these the satanic demons to be unleashed against you and your family. Anything to, to, to tear you down, to destroy you. If they can't come at you directly, they will come at you through your family, through someone close to you, or your weakness. And in many cases, you have people like this preacher that got caught up in the same sex and from what I was told, he was receiving um, fellatio acts from the same sex. And there was a video that was made. Now, my question is, where did this video come from? Who recorded that video? Did he himself set that camera up? Or was it, in fact, a trap? See, a lot of things that we see it could just be a trap someone fell in right in the middle. And I'm going to tell you, when you're a minister, when you're a preacher of the gospel, you're going to have women come at you out of nowhere when you least expect it. But you have to be strong. Stand firm. Put on the whole arm of God that you might be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Put on that helmet of salvation. Protect your mind, that breastplate of righteousness, so that you can't be falsely accused. Well, people are going to lie on you regardless. But you have to have that sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. That's your fighting weapon, is the word. And once you stray away from the word, and we see on the internet, the word of God is always under attack. Why do you think the Bible is always under attack? People are always talking about the Bible uh, is a fictitious book, that it was plagiarized, that it's not real. The word of God is always going to be attacked. That's your weapon. The Bible says the weapon of our warfare is not carnal, but it's mighty through God for the pulling down of strongholds. So when you're in that word and that word is in you, 
then when you speak, you speak authority. You speak with authority. But you have to be careful not to allow yourself to get caught up with the snares of this world, with the traps that will be set for you just because of who you are and whose you are. So this Dwayne Dawson is not the first and he's definitely not going to be the last. But the satanic kingdom will use this to discourage you from going to church. Because in your mind, like it has always, listen, the devil never changes its schemes. I mean, it's always been, oh, you see Christians in the church. And then the next night or the night before, they're in the club partying, all Christians are hypocrite. It's always been that way. The church has always been accused or falsely accused for what very few people do. See, and you have to realize that every person that called themselves a preacher or a pastor was not called by God. They were not called by God. They weren't sent. They went on their own. And in many cases, they are it's a business to them. They are there to make money. They are there to deceive people. They are there because of the fact that their pastor wouldn't let them preach. So they decided to go out and start their own thing. That's why we have so many so-called ministries, so-called prophets on the internet. You know? So this is not a new thing. Um, this is not the first. And it's definitely not going to be the last. Okay, so... Um, a lot of people are talking about it. Um, even uh, Tasha K spoke on it. Um, but it is what it is. And this is not going to be the last time we hear of things like this. You know, and it could just be that this could have been uh, his test. You know, because you preach on one thing and next thing you know, you're out there committing the same sin that you're preaching out against doesn't mean that he was, you know, hiding who he was. And according to one of the articles I read, he had a problem with that in the past and his wife forgave him. The church knew about it. Okay. So they already knew about it. They accepted it. And then I guess when this video came out, he decided to own up to it and he resigned, you know, and one video I watched, this brother said that now the whole, a lot of the gay community is going to come at him because of who he is. You know, he's like fresh meat now. And you're going to have all of these scavengers, these demons going at him just because of the fact that he is a preacher. Okay. That's like going to war and you end up, you know, taking out a colonel or a high ranking general, right? And you got people that, that brag and boast on that. They even keep the uh, the insignia. Say, this is what I did in combat. I got a general, you know? I got a captain, right? Because it's warfare, okay? So we get, like I said, this is, this is not the first and it's not going to be the last. Unfortunately, um, this man's got a wife and I'm not sure if he's got children. I really didn't look too deep into this man's background or his life. But I noticed that it's quite popular on the internet, quite popular on the internet. And people are gonna talk about it just because of the fact that it's a preacher. It happens every day, but because of the fact that it's a preacher and he preached against it, and then he fell into the same sin or abomination that he's preached against. And now people are gonna, and it's well-deserved. But it's part of warfare. We're in warfare, you know? So if you got people out there preaching out against, you know, um, adultery and fornication, all it takes is the right woman to walk up to you, you know, catch you out in the supermarket. You'd be out in the supermarket somewhere in the church, you know, they have um, the altar, the, um, the prayer lines, the altar call, and you go up there about, you know, you praying on people, and then you got this female come up there that's that that's 
right in every place, man. And she look you right in your eyes and her cleavage is all open and she's right up there and you trying to ignore it, right? And before you realize it, she's approaching you, telling you that she need counseling, right? And brothers, I'm going to tell you, if you're a minister out there, never go in those counseling sessions alone with that female. Always take your wife with you or have someone with you in those counseling sessions. Don't go in there by yourself. Right. Because that within itself could be a trap. There's a lot of traps out there, man. And you have to guard yourself at all time. So feedback. Tell me what you think. Subscribe. Click on the cash app Venmo. Chime and support this channel. Leave an offering until next time. I'm fearless.